I was kind of like volunteered to go first um, with a lot of things. Um, last week we had an assignment in senior seminar where we had to write these down these life lessons that we've learned while we've been at ECA. And I wrote mine based on Disney movies because I'm a five-year-old child at heart, according to my lovely classmate Julia. So that's what I'm going to present to you today. I have a piece of advice that I learned from Edna Mode from The Incredibles. <laughs> this is my piece of advice to you. Um, I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. Um, I don't know about you, but I always manage to get entangled in all the things that I've done in my past and mistakes that I've made and things that I haven't taken advantage of that I wish I had, and all because I was afraid that things were, get, were going to end up like they were before. Um, I had a whole bunch of opportunities in my life at BCA to make a bunch of really great friends, and I knew that at the end of the year they were all going to leave, probably. So I didn't want to get into really deep relationships with them because I knew they were going to leave and I wasn't going to have them in my life anymore. So that's one of the biggest regrets I've had, like the Quarles and the Grahams, they were here and I didn't really get to know them until they were just about to leave and then I really regretted not knowing them. So this is like my challenge to you is to take advantage of all the opportunities you have in your life and to not just waste any of them, whether they're relationships or like going on trips or doing fun crazy things with your friends after school. Um, I would just encourage you to take advantage of all the opportunities that the Lord places in your life because He does give us some really great opportunities. And the verse for you, Ephesians 5, 15 to 17. Be, care be very careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish but understand what is the Lord's will is. So the Lord has a will for you. We all know this. We all have this versus, you know, he has plans for us. But you need to take advantage of what his will is for you because he will place things in your life, people and uh, events and things like that, and you need to take advantage of them. So I don't want any of you to end up leaving or, you know, going away um, without really taking advantage of being with the friends that you are now because I missed out on lots of, like, years of relationships that I could have had with people because I was afraid of them leaving. And so I want all of you to, be challenging you to make friends, even though it's scary sometimes because they're going to leave, and to do some crazy stuff, not illegal stuff, please, illegal, <laughs> but fun stuff that maybe you were going to do because like, well, then I'll just, you know, like that person more, and then I, they're going to leave, and I won't be able to be friends with them anymore. So don't do that. Make friends and have fun. And my next person is coming. I don't know who it is. Find out. It's
hardship, you know, we have any like hard thing because I have a lot of hard situation when I came here because English is my second language and I don't have any friend, it's everything new and then it's all new and then I always pray for me, not for God, you know, so I, I recognize I have to pray him for him and then follow him. Okay, so God do not want us to, you know, you know, pray for their friendship or other things. Okay, I'm just okay. So, so sorry. Let's read the verse. And she can read the verse. The Lord brings poverty and gives wealth. He humbles and he exalts. I don't say this out of him, for I have learned to be content with whatever within whatever circumstances I am. I know both how to have a little and I know how to have a lot. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being content, whether well fed or hungry, whether in abundance or in need. I am able to do all things through him who strengthens me. If you live, we look for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. Therefore, wherever we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Okay, as I through this verse, you know, we have a lot of situations. We're not always like having like happy situation every time. We have like different like difficulty and we have some easy. So like for the juniors, I know it's gonna be really hard next year and that's really easy and it's gonna be really hard. But Please, like, pray for not your own, because there's a lot of people who want to like, believe God because of their self, you know, like, I want to be, like, wealthy, or I want to pray for my health, but that is for me, like, benefit for me or themselves, not God. So, like, even you're going to university or anywhere, just pray for God, please tell me the way, way, like, right, way, right, right path. To go, so more focusing on God. Even you have a hard time. For, yeah, for me, high school, the hardest thing is studying English and then having making friends. And then I just pray for myself and then God please. And then that does not work because I always pray for my own and then I didn't think about I'm a like for God benefit. I only pray for my benefit. So, yeah, that is what I learned from here in high school. And also I learned the importance of my family. Like, I think most of you guys know my dad is a, a live in Korea. And then he lives apparently because of the education, also his army. So I want, I, I want you guys also realize family is very important, the role. Because I just realized, you know, like my parent is always with me and then I didn't, I didn't realize they are like very good because it's so close to me and it's hard to realize they are very important. And after we live separately and then I just realized so much, I mean, because my dad is kind of miss my dad and then my mom also has a like very hard time to, you know, Making visa or anything she have to do herself, and then I have to help her, and then I have to study her. Yeah, that's why I'm more, why I'm struggling about the study and more focusing about study than God, because I have a like pressure to be clear coming to education here, and then I have to study her. My dad is for uh, staying in Korea alone, so I have kind of more pressure to like work her anything, and then I'm thinking about like. When I have a final, like that day, and then like, I don't want to go to church, I just want to study. Why I have to go? It's kind of like spending time there. So I I'm keep thinking like that. But that is not true. We have to focus on God. And then He gonna give, you know, bless me. And then He gonna do everything. And it's all every person. So. So...
Christ, everything will work out. Everything doesn't always work out if you try everything on your own. That's one really important thing that I learned. So, um, one of the verses that I want to share with you, uh, these next two verses that I'm going to share have been uh, really, are two verses that are really important to me. I can do all things through Him who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. Um, I really like this verse because, well, first of all, it starts out with, I can, but then it gives, um, uh, it gives more depth into it. It says, I can, but only if um, God is with me. All things through Him who strengthens me. And um, I like this verse a lot, but then I also don't like it at the same time. I don't like, uh, I never liked this verse whenever I had a whole lot of homework to do, especially. <laughs> um, schoolwork, I just, there are a lot of times when I just did not want to do it and I would just think, oh my goodness, there's just so much work, so much to do, I don't know if I can do it, and then, boom. I can do all things, including homework, through Christ who strengthens me. So I just need to sit down, pray, and just do it. And that goes for more than just homework, of course. That goes for lots of other things in life that you have to do, like speaking in front of chapel. <laughs> but you just have to do it. Um, uh, another thing, a personal thing that this really helped me with, I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. This was overcoming temptations in my life, especially as a male growing up here in Romania, Bucharest, in Europe. Um, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes really appealed to me. Um, but uh, this verse really encouraged me to just, whenever I do feel tempted, it's like just go somewhere to be alone and just pray. Um, just to make sure that you put God first in your life. Um, two of the songs that we sang uh, really going with this verse, um, uh, especially with resisting temptation. Um, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Whenever I would sing that, whenever I'd think of that song, I'd always pray that. It's like, this is what I want. Uh, it's hard, especially for us guys. Um, but uh, I know that I can through Him who strengthens me. Um, and then uh, also, um, give us clean hands, give us pure hearts. I would also add in there, give us pure minds. Um, let us not lift our souls to another to only put God first and seek Him fully and only. Um, the next verse that I have is Romans 8.37. In all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Um, this verse always, especially the last part, always reminds me of what Christ did for us. He died for us. He died for me. Um, there's no greater love than this to give your life for a friend, for someone that you love. And um, because um, um, the other part of the verse that I like is the very first part. In all these things we are more than conquerors. This immediately made me, when I was thinking about what to say, it, made me, it immediately made me think of our BCA basketball seasons. <laughs> uh, especially the tournaments. Yeah. Three years we've gone, we finally got third place. And it was always. It was, every, every single year, for the last two years we've gone, we were so excited, so pumped up, and then uh, I personally felt a little bit defeated at the end of each season because we just couldn't seem to win a game. We'd get closer and closer, and yet we still didn't seem to achieve what we had been working for. Um, but uh, this verse really helped me uh, during the last especially during the basketball seasons. Um, it reminded me that um, in all these things we are more than conquerors for him who loved us. Even though I might not be a, uh, a conqueror or a winner on the basketball court, I know that uh, I have achieved the ultimate victory because I have Christ in my life. Mm. Um, yeah. um, but we finally did it. We finally did it. So. We are now also conquerors on the basketball court as well. <laughs> um, and uh, just a thought that I want to um, leave you guys with. Um, uh, it's from 
the last song that we sang, uh, the God of Angel Armies is always by my side. That's, um, if we can always remember that God is always by our side, then it's easier for us to know that we can do all things in Him and that we are more than conquerors. So, <coughs> you are victorious. I 
basically don't know anybody there and it's a school of around 1,500 students, so it's not even that big. But <laughs> still, I felt like, you know, like, maybe, like, just a, quite alone and I hate the feeling of being alone. So, yeah. And then I prayed to God and I realized that even though I might be alone, He will take care of me and He will guide me through the right direction and give me strength in the time that I need it. And this uh, Isaiah 41, 13 For I, the Lord, your God, hold your right hand and it is who I say to you, fear not, I am the one who helps you. So when I found this verse, it also gave me like lots of encouragement because I saw that even though the future is like unpredictable, God will always be there for you and how it says, hold your right hand and it, like a child and his mother carry him, the baby, through the rough times. And I also was encouraged that even though I will be going to university, that it's also applicable for that people like the juniors and some other people that might be leaving BCA, that the future isn't only bad, that there's lots of good in the future because the us seniors that are leaving soon will also get a chance to study what we really desire and what we love basically. And the next verse. John 16, 33. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I will overcome the world. This is another verse that really like, astonished me because I was thinking that like the world is pretty much corrupt, but with the Lord, the, He will overcome the world. So he will show his face to me and to, to all of us in rough times and carry us through. So I was really encouraged by, even though I won't have anybody in university, I will always have the Lord. So.
don't like have dreams and have ambitions, but don't write it in stone. You know, be open to new opportunities and things that maybe show you what God wants you to do instead of what you want to do. Have a blast. <laughs> But 
know that um, in Psalms 28, 7, it says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and He helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and, I'll, and with my song, I praise Him. And I think, even though if you feel like you're alone, God is your strength. Like, I was so bummed out, like, I was just, like, tired, because I've been up all night, and I was just dead tired. But God actually, like, helped me. He strengthened me, and, I mean, anything could have happened that day, but I was still okay that very day. It's just that I missed my flight. <clears throat> so, despite all these times that I've doubted God, or I was, like, I just felt really alone, I just... Just don't give up on him because he never gave up on you. Like, don't forget him because he has helped you through everything. I mean, if you, I guess all of you have experienced stuff like this. And, I mean, he really helped me throughout my high school career. And he helped me out even in basketball. Like, the three tournaments we were at, the, last, the first two were just bummed me out because just so close and it just... Ah, it was so close and we just lost it. But he gave me strength and then it kind of motivated me to push myself more and to improve for the team. But don't forget him. And at times when you feel alone, just pray. Uh, we're learning about spiritual discipline and I think it's really important that you pray. Don't forget to pray. I mean, absolutely important that you pray and meditate on his words. And so, and he'll never give up on you, and I hope sure you don't forget him or give up on him. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Whatever you do, whatever choices you make, except if you're wrong. Of course, God will make sure you're doing it right. God will help you out through all the choices you make. Whether it's you applying to other colleges, whether it's you moving to a new place, he will make sure that you're okay. He will make sure that you're going the right way. And if it's not, he's going to tell you. Just pray about it, plan it out, and don't just be rash, like irrational about it and just say, oh, I'm just going to go to Harvard because they're going to accept me anyways. And then you find out that you're not. I mean, you know, just pray about it, plan it out, and then just meditate on his words and trust in it. Always trust in it. Alright, thank you.